In this last example, we're going to go ahead and add two Mayan numbers together. Now, some of you are like, add them. I'm add how am I adding shells and sticks and stones together? Um, and uh, I, I know, right? So just remember that five stones is equal to one stick, and then four sticks will be one stone in the next place value. Right, that's what we saw before. So we're gonna carry over in that same process of adding and base 10, right? When we carry over the one and add down, um, that's the same way, except here we have symbols, but again, we can use our num numerical symbols or numerals to you know, identify better with these um, symbolic numbers. So the first thing we wanna do is add in Mayan, so we have to, there's two things we need to do here. We need to add in Mayan first and then convert that answer into base 10. So we're gonna add here and then let's go ahead and don't forget we have the place values. We know the ones, the 20s and the 400s place. The digits we can see in this first one will be seven, 15 and 12. The second digit is 0, 5, and 7. So we're going to be adding a cross, right? Some of you are like, well, just add a cross now. Well, I really can't because 15 plus 5 is 20. And if I go back up here, I can't just add because no, 20 is not in the base system, right? 0 through 19 is. So what do I do when I go past this 19? Right, that's exactly what we do, just like when we're adding in base 10. We have to carry over something into the next place value. So symbolically, let's go ahead and try to um, do this. Let's make a table and let's add, not horizontally, but vertically. So I'm going to go ahead and make a table. And you go ahead and make one with a header footer and um, each place value. And so since we know we have up to the 400s, 20 squared, I'm going to do one extra in case we have to carry over because I kind of predict something's going to happen there, right? So I'll do um, a 20 cubed, a 20 squared, and then a 20 to the first, and then 20 to the zero. So I'll just, I know I only have up to here, but I can see that I might be carrying over something. So I'll just do that just in case, whether I use it or not. And the next thing is I'll go ahead and make the barriers here. Okay, and I know that I'm adding, so I'll put that there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the symbols in each one. So the first um, add-in I'm gonna put horizontally and according to place value. So in this ones place, okay, so let me get a thicker, I made a thicker um, ink. So that way I can mark it as a nice um, stick like the picture. So I have one stick and 2.7 in that first, 15 in the 20s, and 12 in the 400s. In the second number, I have a shell. And a stick and a stick and two stones in the 400s place. OK, great. And so um, let's go ahead and add now down. So let me pick a different color to do that. So I do have a shell, a stick, and two stones. So that's just going to be 0 plus 7. And 7 is in base 20. So we can go ahead and just keep it as a stick and two stones. So we're OK there. Um, here I have three sticks and a stick. So I do have four sticks. But I did say here that if I had four sticks, that I have to make it a stone in the next place value. And so that means this turns into a stone. So let me get red. All right, so that turns into a stone oops, in the next place value. But then what is in 
the 20s place now. If once I added it up and I move that stone, well, it's like having a 10. We put a zero there, right? And then we carry the one over. Same thing here. There's nothing there, so we make it a zero. But it's symbolically, this would be a shell. Okay, so now I have an extra stone in the 400s place. Let's go ahead and add. So I have how many sticks? One, two, three sticks. And I have one, two, three, four stones. But now I have to be careful because now I have five stones. And if I have five stones, that becomes a stick, right? So now, now that becomes let me slash it a stick. But then what happens? How many sticks do we have? OMGZ, right? Because four sticks is one dot in the next place value. I have four sticks that have to go uh, does a stone or a dot in the next place value. All right. So now I cross this out and make it a stone in the next place value. Luckily, we didn't have anything in the 8,000s place, so we're just going to add and have like a stone there, and essentially the numeral one, right? But what's left over here? Nothing. I took everything, so it becomes a shell. So let me rewrite this vertically. So the sum of this is actually equal to starting at the ones place is a seven, a shell, a shell, and a stone. Okay, so that's part one, right? That is add in Mayan. Dawn. That is that symbol. So when you're adding in Mayan and keeping in Mayan, you have to keep those symbols. So those symbols are exactly what how Mayans count. Now, the next part is to convert this to base 10. So now let's take this and do the conversion. So let me draw this line here. And now we're going to convert to base 10. Okay, and here we're just adding in Mayan, right? We're doing that first part. Okay, so to convert in base 10, we do know that we have, um, let me put the digit, the number here with two shells. So we do know here's place value and here's digits. We do know this is 7001, and those place values is the 1s, the 20s, the 400s, and the 8000s. So let's go ahead and just do that. Let's take every digit with this place value, multiply, and then add them up. So let's go ahead and do 1 times 20 cubed plus 0 times 20 squared plus 0 times 20 to the first plus 7 times 20 to the 0. And now we just simplify 1 times 8,000 plus 0 times 400 plus 0 times 20 plus 7 times 1. Then we can just keep going and I get 8,000 plus 0 plus 0 plus 7. And so this ends up being 8,007 in base 10. So again, um, let me go ahead and highlight the answers here. So this is the base 10 number that is equivalent to that sum, right? To the sum 1007 in base 20. And so um, what we did is we did a kind of a cool thing. We 
now you can go to work or back to your home or your parents or your siblings and say, I just added in base 20. If I was living in the Mayans day, I could help them do math because I just added in their base system, right? And that's really cool. Like you have just done it. You have converted from different base systems to base 10. And now you have added in the Mayan in symbolic numeral systems and converted that into a base 10 number. Like that's deep. That's pretty cool. All right.